friends i am satyan and this is the third part of my video lecture on term symbols okay so in this uh, video you will learn how to find the number of micro states for the term 2p and 2p is the term symbol okay and 2p is the term symbol so this 2p is just give me just for a minute so this 2p is the term symbol okay so don't con get confused this is not the electronic configuration but it is the term symbol so for whenever you are dealing with the term symbol the number of microstates is given by this formula and this type of questions usually come in the gate and csir net question papers for physics okay okay so <clears throat> so uh, you just have to plug the values so for 2p the value of l for p is 1 and this is the multiplicity and this multiplicity 2 is equals to 2s plus 1 okay that is called the multiplicity so you have to find the number of microstates using this formula let's plug the values so the this the value of this is given by is plugged from here that is just 2 and the value of l is plugged in this uh, part which is where the l is equals to 1 you can see that the val value of l is plugged here okay and when you solve this you will get the value that is 6 so this is your answer and this is the number of microstates that are required okay 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 now how to find the number of microstates for electronic configuration so let's understand this so in this question the question is find the number of microstates for the electronic configuration and p1 so this is the electronic configuration and this is the principal quantum number this is the orbital and this is the number of electrons okay okay so whenever you are dealing with the electronic configuration the number of microstates are given by this formula okay so you have to remember this formula for your exams like csir net and gate okay okay so in this formula n is the maximum number of electrons that can come in the orbital okay so the n means the maximum number of electrons that the orbital can accommodate for so as an example what you are looking here so with this example here you can see that the orbital is p the orbital is p and the p orbital can have a maximum number of six electrons okay so let's see so let me draw okay this is the p orbital i have drawn so it can accommodate one two three four five six it can accommodate six electrons okay okay Okay, sorry for the inconvenience okay so for the inconvenience okay so you have understood that uh, what is n so uh, for the p for the p orbital as in our example the value of n will be 6 okay okay and what is r okay what you are looking at this point is r so there is a term r here also and here also okay so what is this r so r so r is the number of electrons number of electrons okay that are actually present in the that are actually present in the orbital okay so let's see okay so you can see that here okay so number of electrons that are present in the p here okay if you look closely okay let's look it closely at this point okay so the number of electrons that are actually present in the p orbital is one and the maximum number of electrons that can be present in the p is six okay so your one is equals to r and your six is equals to n okay so you have how this is how you can find the value of n and r and then and so i have written it also here so for p n equals to six and r equals to one here okay for our case so let's put in this formula okay i have put and i have solved it that is giving me six so the number of microstate for that electronic configuration is six okay okay now friends uh, there is another type of questions that usually come in your gate exams and that is the find how to find that is to calculate the degeneracy okay how to calculate the degeneracy okay so the question is calculate the degeneracy for the state 3f okay so how to calculate it okay so here because there is f so the value of l is 3 and there is you can see that one minute okay 
you can see that there is three okay so it is written like three f so three is the multiplicity which is two s plus one okay so your three is equals to two s plus one okay okay so that um, uh, three equals to two s plus one on solving this you will get s equals to one okay so the possible values of j so the possible values of j are given by this equation okay and you have to remember this equation for your exams okay so uh, your l is equals to uh, three and s equals to one so this will give you four and this will give you uh, two okay so you have to you have the first value five four and the other value is two and you have to find the terms that are present here so you how you will find is that you just subtract one from the four so four minus so first is the four then four minus one is three and then three minus one is two so there will be the three values of j okay so there will be three values of j for three values of j the the term symbols are as follows okay so your term symbol given was three f and now you have to put the value of j and you have the three values of j so i have put the values of j so there will be three three term symbols okay so for this state the value of j is four for this state symbol the value of j is three for this state symbol the j value of j is two okay okay so now there is another important concept that you have to know that each j have two j plus one values of mj okay this is important point okay so for j equals to four the value of two j plus one equals to equals to nine okay okay and then for j equals to three the value of two j plus one equals to seven okay similarly for j equals to two okay for j equals to two the value of two j plus one it will be equals to four so finally the degeneracy is the sum of all these things and it is equals to 21 okay so this is your answer so the 21 is your answer okay there is another way okay there is a alternative way method also to find the this this answer is your 21 and that is called the alliter method okay so, sorry that is the that is our alliter method that is alternative method and let's see what is this alternative method so it is well known that degeneracy is equals to the number of microstates okay so we will apply the formula of microstates for the term symbol as i have already explained you for so i have uh, written this formula and i have substituted the substituted the values of s and l in this so the my values of the my value of s was one and my value of l was three as i have already found it okay so you can also go and back and see here okay so the value of l was three and the value of s was one so just i have to plug the value in this formula okay and i have plugged the values and i have solved it and i got the answer 21 which is exactly same as my previous answer so both the methods works and both the methods are correct okay okay